What is up people and welcome to another video of the docker based workflow and in this video we're going to look at Golang debugging inside of a container. So let's go. So one of the great benefits of building your code inside of Docker containers is keeping your machine clean, clean, like have nothing installed other than Docker on your machine. You don't have any specific versions of Go, no dependencies on your machine, um, which helps keep your image neat, small, and keeps parity between your machine and production. So you always know you're building and deploying and testing like for like. I don't even have Golang installed and today I'm gonna show you guys how to debug without Go installed. Now, just so you guys know, um, I have the code that I'm about to show you on GitHub. So check the link down below and let's get started. All right, so I wanna quickly show you guys the Docker Compose file. Um, we have our Golang section here and you can see we give it a container name. We also give it an image name. We have a build context. And what this means is this is pointing to the Golang folder. If you look on the left here, we have a Golang folder and this is where our source code is. And the next one is target. Because we're using Docker multi-stage, we can switch our targets between debug and production. This helps us use different image layers for debugging. And inside the debug layer, we have a debugger tool. Next up, we have the volume and we mounting Golang source, which you can see on the left here, Golang source. This is where our source code is. We're mounting that inside the container so we can do development. And then we also have our application port. So we, we're exposing port 5000 in the container and on the host it's 5001. And the second last bit here is the debugger port. Whenever you're doing remote debugging, you need a port exposed. So we're exposing this for our debug server. And the last bit is because our debugger starts up our application and, and uses process forking to run our app, um, it's not allowed by default for Docker. So in debug, when we have targets set to debug, we're going to use this to in order to run our debugger. So it's a workaround. Now, just a quick look at the application. We have main.go. This is the only file we have. It's a very small web server. We import package main. We have our web server here. We're using the fast HTTP router. Um, we also have our response method. This one's gonna be called every time we hit the server from the outside. And this is our main method. And all we're doing literally is listening on um, port 5000 and we're listening on this um, root of the site. And when that gets hit, we call our function and it's just gonna print hello in the browser. So let's take a look at the Docker file. You can see at the, in the first line here, we say as debug. What that means is that makes this entire layer all the way next to the next from statement. This becomes the debug image. And this here becomes the production image. So if we have target equals debug in our Docker compose file, what that means, it'll only compile all of this. And that allows us to keep a debugger in the dev image or in the debug image and no debuggers in the production image. So the production image is very lean. You can see all we're doing is copying the, deb the built assembly out of the debug layer and starting it up in our production layer. Now the important parts of this Docker file is all the basics first. We install Git and all our dependencies. Um, we have the dependencies for the web server and stuff. And then here we need the debug server. So we're installing Delve inside um, of this container and Delve is going to be the debugging server. We copy our source in, we run go build, so we produce our binary and here's the three uh, magic lines. We copy a Delve script into the container, we set an um, entry point, we also give it execution rights. And if we take a look at the Delve script, all that that does is it runs a command called Delve debug and we want to run it in headless mode. We want to write all the logs to output and we expose port 2345. And that's that's pretty much it. When this container image starts as target debug, it'll run the debugger and it will start waiting for debug instructions. Now for a debugger to work, you're gonna, it depends on the IDE that you use. Now, if you're a Go developer and you use Golang, you probably already have a remote debugger for Go. 
um, I use VS Code, so I had to go and install it. Now remember, I don't have Go installed, so I had to ignore some of the errors that I got because I don't want Go installed in my machine. Go over to the extensions, um, search here for Go. You'll find this one here by Microsoft called Go, um, Rich Golang Support. Now install this guy, and when you have it installed, restart your v VS Code. And then what you want to do is you want to head over to Debug. And if you click Debug, you will see a drop down here with nothing in it, only add configurations. So go ahead and click this gear icon. And when you do this, you'll see it'll create this launch.json and it creates it in a folder in your workspace called .vs code. And inside there it creates launch.json and it will be empty by default. I went and copied this off the internet and this is just the remote debugging uh, properties. So you can see here we specify mode as remote so what happens is your application will start up, listen on a port and wait for a debug instruction. Um, this is the port we're going to be attaching to. This is the host. Um, the, the important bits is the remote part. So this is the Golang code inside of the container. And this is the Golang code outside of the container. So this debugger will know where to find the code and attach itself. So this is the only magic that you need in terms of the Golang extension. All right, so before we start, quick one. Docker Compose file has a target for debug. Our debugger is ready to go. I've, I've built my image. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to run Docker Compose up and Golang. So let's go ahead and do that. Now what this does is this doesn't start our application. This will start the debugger. So you can see the debugger is reporting here that it's started up. And we can verify that our app is not running. You see if I hit localhost 5001, there's nothing listening. Now I've added a couple of breakpoints in my application by clicking on the side here. You can see I have all these breakpoints. And to start the debugger or to launch debugging, what we're gonna do is go to the debug icon. We have the our remote docker here. We're just gonna go ahead and hit play. And watch what happens. In the debug console, you can see it's reporting all the debug instructions. It has launched our application and because our breakpoint is right in the main function, it hit that function already. So yeah, that's that's debugging and what you can do, you can use these controls to step over. We can see there's our router. We can go ahead and look at these variables. And there's our get. Now our application is running because it's run through the main function. If I go back here, refresh this, we can see now we hit our response function right over there. And that's hello. And if I click on continue, you can see hello message it's done so that's how easy it is to debug from your local into a container so thanks guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed it hope it helps um, let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see in future videos and yeah thanks for watching like and subscribe peace